Hello. In this video, we will discuss finding top dead center. There are many reasons why a maintenance technician will need to find top dead center. Any given piston position, whether it be used for ignition, valve, or injection pump timing, is referenced to a piston position called top dead center. The position of a piston in a reciprocating engine when the piston is at the top of its compression stroke and the wrist pin, crank pin, and center of the crankshaft are all in line is called top dead center. The intake valves start to open just before the piston reaches top dead center and continues to open during the intake stroke. The exhaust valve, which starts to open before bottom center, remains open after top dead center. This operating mechanism is associated to valve timing, which will be discussed in a different video or lesson plan and in greater detail. The magneto, which is a special type of engine driven alternating current generator, is timed to the engine so that the spark occurs only when the piston is on the proper stroke at a specified number of crankshaft degrees before the top dead center piston position. Magneto operation is another operating principle that is associated to top dead center and will be discussed in another video in greater detail. With all that's been said, what is top dead center? Top dead center is not to be confused with the piston position called top center. A piston in top center has little value from a timing standpoint because the corresponding crankshaft position may vary from 1 degree to 8 degrees for the piston position. From the top center figure shown, notice that the piston does not move while the crankshaft describes the small arc from position A to position B. This no travel zone occurs between the time the crankshaft and the connecting rod stops pushing the piston upward and continues until the crankshaft has swung the lower end of the connecting rod into a position where the crankshaft can start pulling the piston downward. Top dead center is a piston and crankshaft position from which all other piston and crankshaft locations are referenced. When a piston is in the top dead center position of the crankshaft, it is also in the center of the no travel zone. The piston is in a position where a straight line can be drawn through the center of the crankshaft journal, the crank pin, and the piston pin. Now let's set the aircraft up to find top dead center. The first safety precaution is to turn the ignition off and remove the key. This will prevent any accidental firing of the engine when the propeller is rotated. Remove all top spark plugs. Install the top dead center locator into the number one cylinder top spark plug hole. Then install the timing disc indicator on the aircraft propeller spinner or hub. Turn the propeller slowly in the direction of rotation until the piston lightly touches the top dead center locator. Rotate the disc to timing indicator until top center mark is under the pointer. Just a quick note. A light tap of the finger against the dial will ensure a more accurate reading. Slowly turn the propeller in the opposite direction until the piston lightly touches the top dead center locator. Take a reading off the dial. Then divide that reading in half. For example, if it reads 100 degrees, divide that reading by 2. Then reset the dial on the E25 timing indicator to 50 degrees. Remember to gently tap the dial indicator to remove any traces of backlash. Remove the top dead center locator from the cylinder and find the compression stroke on the number one cylinder by placing your finger over the spark plug hole. Turn the propeller in the direction of rotation until you feel the compression building in the cylinder. Remove your thumb quickly to hear the compression release. Continue to turn the propeller in the direction of rotation until the pointer is directly under top center on the indicator. You have now found top dead center on the compression stroke. The E25 instruction states top center 
when in theory you are at top dead center which will be explained at the end of this video. The engine is also configured at this point to allow timing of the magneto to the number one cylinder. The breaker points for the magneto should just be starting to open at this setting. Breaker point openings should be checked using the model E50 synchronizer. Magneto and engine timing after finding top dead center will be discussed in a video call timing the magneto to the engine. This will conclude the procedures for finding top dead center. So let's take a moment to discuss the top center, top dead center theory using the E25 timing indicator. TC or top center on the E25 represents top dead center. A valve timing chart will be utilized to indicate crankshaft travel and depict finding top dead center. Two arrows are used to indicate piston travel. Notice the down arrow depicts the power and intake stroke and the up arrow depicts the exhaust and compression stroke. The denial of travel area resulting from the top dead center stop pin will be depicted as a pie slice with each side representing a stop point for the top dead center stop pin. Now let's add top dead center pin stop points into the theory. The first top dead center locator pin stop is x degrees before top dead center on the compression stroke. This is depicted in green on the valve timing chart. Now simulation of clockwise prop rotation from the first stop point through the intake stroke which is depicted in yellow and ending at x degrees on the compression stroke which again is depicted in green. Transcribing that same simulation to the E25 timing disc indicator will be clockwise prop rotation from the first stop point starting at 20 degrees after top dead center through the intake stroke and ending at 20 degrees before top dead center on the compression stroke. Now let's move to the second stop point. The second top dead center located pin stop is x degrees after top dead center on the exhaust stroke. This is depicted in blue on the valve timing chart. The simulation will be a counterclockwise rotation from the second stop point through the power stroke which is depicted in red ending at x degrees on the exhaust stroke which again is depicted in blue. Transcribing that simulation to the E25 timing indicator would be a counterclockwise rotation from the second stop point starting at 20 degrees before top dead center through the power stroke ending at 20 degrees after top dead center on the exhaust stroke. Now let's step back to revisit the pie slice in the top dead center pin stop denial of travel area. The top dead center pin stop denial of travel area is from 20 degrees before top dead center to 20 degrees after top dead center which is indicated in the timing indicator. The first stop point total travel equals 320 degrees. Starting at 20 degrees after top dead center to 20 degrees before top dead center. The area of denied travel is from top dead center to 20 degrees after top dead center. The second stop travel equals 320 degrees as well. Starting at 20 degrees before top dead center to 20 degrees after top dead center. The area of denied travel is 20 degrees before top dead center to top dead center. To sum this all up, the total denial of travel equals 2x. If the E25 timing indicator indicates a total area of denial of travel as 40 degrees, we know that x equals 20 degrees and that 2x equals 40 degrees. Thus, by removing the top dead center stop pin 
and turning the prop forward to top center or top dead center, the piston is now at top dead center. Adding denial of travel 40 degrees plus 320 degrees for the first and second stop travel will equal 360 degrees for the total crankshaft travel. In conclusion, in resetting the dial, we were in effect adding those unknown X degrees to the travel of the prop on its new forward rotation which took it back to top dead center on both the dial and the piston. Various aircraft were used in the making of this video. The methods to finding top dead center will be similar regardless of the type of reciprocating engine. In every case, adhere to the maintenance manual instructions for the specific engine used. Thanks for watching.